Hey everyone, this is Kamlakshi. I am the product consultant at AICNC. We are the smartest WhatsApp engagement platform built on top of official WhatsApp business APIs. With AICNC, you can send broadcast messages to unlimited opted-in users. You can even automate notifications by integrating your CRM platform with AICNC. And you can have multiple human agent live chat support and the chatbot for solving customer queries quickly. In today's video, we will guide you on how to apply for WhatsApp Business API on AI Sensei. So let's start with WhatsApp Business API procurement. If you have already signed up on AI Sensei, then log into AI Sensei using the given link that is app.aisensei.com slash login. But if you haven't signed up on AI Sensei yet, then the first step is to sign up on AI Sensei using the given link that is app.aisensei.com slash sign up. By opening this link, the page will open and in that page, click on sign up with Google. After continuing with Google, fill in some basic details about you and your company. Mention your name in the full name box. Then mention your company's name in the company name box. Select the company size from the drop-down list. Select the industry from drop-down list. Enter your personal phone number. Choose your preferred billing currency, INR or USD, and select your time zone. After filling in all the details, click on Complete Sign Up. After clicking on Complete Sign Up, you will be logged in to AI Sensei. Great, you're logged into AI Sensei and now we can start with WhatsApp Business API Procurement. Now you have entered the AI Sensei dashboard. Here you can apply for WhatsApp Business API for free. In the dashboard, you can see one box which states set free WhatsApp Business Account. Scroll down a little and click on Continue with Facebook. After clicking on Continue with Facebook, new dialog box will appear. Here, Facebook will ask to continue with your logged in Facebook account. If your Facebook business manager account is created on the same Facebook account, then click on continue. Otherwise, log into another account. After clicking on continue, in the next page, click on get started. After clicking on get started, a new page will appear and here click on continue. Now you have to select the meta business account. Select the meta account on which you want to get WhatsApp Business API account. After selecting the meta account, click on continue. Now, if your meta account is not created, then Facebook will ask for some basic details of your business. Enter your business name in the legal business name box. Enter the mobile number by selecting the country code and this could be any working phone number. Then copy and paste your website's URL and business email address if not mentioned. After entering all the details, click on continue. In the next page, select your country and time zone. Other details are optional, so we can skip that or if you wish, you can fill in those details. After selecting the time zone, click on continue. After clicking on continue, Meta will verify all the information and once the information is verified, you will get a page where you need to create your WhatsApp business account. Then enter the WhatsApp business account name. The one mentioned here is faded and is just a suggestion. You will have to enter your business account name that you have to use. After entering the WhatsApp business account name, click on continue and then Meta will again verify the information. Once the information is verified, then your account will be set. Then click on continue to step two. In step two, you have to enter the desired display name. And if the display name is different from the legal business name, then tick mark on the checkbox and copy and paste the website's URL. Also, make sure the display name you are using is mentioned on your website. If the name is not mentioned on your website, then there are higher chances of display name getting rejected. So mention the name on the header of your website to get your display name approved. After entering the display name, click on continue and in the next page, select the category of your business. If your business category is mentioned in the list of categories, then select the category. Otherwise, 
simply click on others. You can skip the business description part as it is optional. After selecting the category, click on continue to step 3. After clicking on continue to step 3, you have to verify the mobile number which you want to use on WhatsApp business API. Make sure that number is not on any existing WhatsApp account. You can either select the number which is suggested or you can register a new number. Now enter or select the number then choose the verification method as text message or voice call and click on send code. After clicking on send code, Facebook will trigger a six digit code. Once you receive a code, enter your six digit verification code and click on verify. Once you click on verify, you will be ready to chat with opted in users on WhatsApp. Meta will specify with how many opted in users a business can initiate conversations per day. If your business initiated conversation is limited to 50 users per day, then you can increase your limit by getting your Facebook business manager account verified. In the dialog box, click on OK and you can log in to AI Sensei dashboard. Here, you can check the WhatsApp business API status. If the WhatsApp business API status is live, then you're good to go and start broadcasting the messages. But if your WhatsApp business API status is still pending, then you can check why WhatsApp business API status is pending, whether the phone and display name verification is pending or the Facebook verification is pending. If your phone and display name verification is pending, then WhatsApp will take around three to four hours to get your display name verified. But if your Facebook business manager account is unverified, then go and get your Facebook business manager account verified. We are providing the link below with which you can get your Facebook business manager account verified. Once your WhatsApp business API status is live, you can start customer support via live chat and submit template messages for approval for sending broadcast messages. So start your WhatsApp engagement journey now.